Hello, welcome to uh, my monthly uh, recipe videos. Uh, the second Monday of every month I want to upload a video uh, of a recipe I have came across. Uh, lately I've been doing the uh, keto diet, so I've uh, been looking through Pinterest and um, found a, a chicken uh, bacon casserole. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you what it is. I'll leave a link in the description of uh, where you can find this recipe. But uh, let me go ahead and get started. Start here's all that's in it. Pretty simple stuff. Um, starting out with coconut oil to to cook the chicken in, because uh, the way the recipe uh, starts, it looks like you're supposed to have the chicken cooked up already. But oh well, it's about two cups, of, <laughs> two pounds of chicken, um, one pound of broccoli cuts. Um, it's previously previously frozen and thawed out. Um, uh, tablespoon of minced onion, you just use the frozen onions, um, one t uh, tablespoon of parsley, um, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of dough, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of bacon crumbles, eight ounces of, um, sour cr of cream cheese, Four ounces of sour cream, eight, four ounces of mayonnaise, and eight ounces of shredded cheddar. So let me get the uh, chicken cut up and uh, start cooking. Uh, one moment. Okay, I uh, put a couple of tablespoons of uh, coconut oil in the pan to help the chicken cook. And I got it cut up and it's cooking on a medium heat. The oven's preheating to 350 degrees, and now I'll put the um, cream cheese in the microwave for 30 seconds to soften that up a bit and then uh, once we soften that up we'll put everything in most of everything else in the bowl and uh, mix it up one moment in this big bowl we'll put the uh, cream cheese the onion yeah um, spices Sour cream uh, and mayonnaise. Don't worry, I'll get that scooped in, but I'm not sure I can do that one handed. Uh, one moment. Uh, I got the uh, cream cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise, and spices in the bowl, so now I'll, I'll mix it up and stir it up. Okay, the chicken has finished cooking, so now we'll go ahead and add it to the, the cream cheese, sour cream mixture. I let it cool off a little bit before I dumped it in, so it's not like... There we go. And then... I will add the broccoli. And... Six ounces of the cheese. And I'll get that stirred in and mixed up. Okay. Um, the recipe says to spray the 9, nine by 13 inch um, baking dish with a cooking spray. Unfortunately, I don't have any cooking spray, so I'm just going to use another couple tablespoons of uh, coconut oil. And just uh, use the brush to spread that around. Oops. Fling, and fling it all over the place. That's a good, that's a that's a good important step too. All right. So now we'll dump the mixture into that um, dish. And one moment. Okay. Um, now that I got it in the baking dish, we'll go ahead and put the rest of the cheese on there. So spread that more and less evenly. Hopefully, eventually. And then spread the bacon over the top. And now we'll bake it for 35 minutes. Alright, and that's what it looks like when it's done baking. Um, it's a. Uh, makes about six to eight servings, uh, depending on how hungry you are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a pretty um, um, easy recipe. Uh, good for keto. But um, yeah, that's a um, that's, uh, bacon chicken ranch. Um, casserole. I think I'd say that different every time I uh, 
mention the name. But uh, yep, and that's it. Have a nice day.